Now we're going to go to Senator Cassidy. Uh, hello, gentlemen. Thank you all. Uh, Mr. Crane, there was a, re a recent awarding of, and ladies, I'm sorry, there's a recent awarding of the Halo Hubs, and Louisiana was an applicant but did not receive. The Secretary was kind enough to call me and tell me that, but and, uh, that's just the breaks as I first took it, but since I've become concerned about the process, since we're talking about the integrity of the process, that's what I'd like to explore. Uh, I'm told that of the merit reviewers of the Louisiana application, Several of them did not provide any comments or ask any questions regarding the application. Frankly, that was like excellent, bad, needs to improve, like nothing. So it's unclear to me that they actually reviewed it. In fact, there's no evidence that they actually reviewed it. What I'm worried about is that the fix was in before we even started. Um, so uh, next. Um, on August the 3rd of this year, Halo Hub leadership in the state of Louisiana had a phone call at DOE to discuss the status of the program. This occurred as other hydrogen hub applicants were being asked to interview with DOE in relation to their applications. The HALO hub in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Oklahoma had not been contacted for an interview, but DOE said two things specifically, that the interviews were to answer questions about gaps in the applications, and the interviews did not represent a down selection process. Is all that correct? Yes, the interviews did not. Okay. Uh, but so I'm sorry, many, what was the question before? Uh, was it a down select? Uh, it was a two part question. What was the. I was just set in context. Um, so, how many hi hydrogen hubs that were not interviewed were ultimately selected as an awardee? Uh, none of the hydrogen hubs that were not interviewed were. But yet, so. the, hi but the interviews were specifically said not to be part of a down selection process, because it turns out if you weren't interviewed, you weren't ultimately selected. That's the way it turned out, but at the time of the, the phone call, uh, the uh, people doing the interviews did not know uh, whether uh, a hub would be selected that, that wasn't interviewed. I, I accept that perhaps, but the fact that like r multiple reviewers looking at the Halo Hub from Louisiana, Arkansas, and Oklahoma didn't make a comment or didn't ask a question. When the secretary called me, she mentioned she had been told when I asked why wasn't Louisiana selected and our three-state consortium, it said it was because Shell had pulled out of the Halo Hub and that communities were not supportive. Turns out Shell did not pull out of the Halo Hub and that Louisiana was never notified that there were communities not supportive. Um, do you have any sense of why she was told those were the reasons that we were not selected? Uh, well, Senator, first of all, I'd say that the, to me the main reason is that the competition for these hubs was intense. We well, had, well, let me go back it, to it that. Was a bit what I'm trying to understand is the criteria by this, because yes. frankly, I'm thinking the fix was in. Uh, Senator, I, I would respectively suggest that no fix went in. And let, me go, I, I let, also, me, let me go to the next point then. Okay. Uh, we were also told that there was an issue that the, it, with the Halo Hub that there was no, that the existing hydrogen pipeline in Louisiana was not open access. How many states in which were, which were rewarded these hubs, how many of them currently have a hydrogen pipeline? I don't think there's any state. I, I think the Texas, only that's hydrogen it. pipeline is the non-open access one between Louisiana and Texas. So I guess what I'm concerned about is if we're being told that it's because there's not an open access pipeline, but like, of the other 15 states besides Texas, none of them had a hydrogen pipeline at all, that Shell had not pulled out, and we were never told that the communities objected, and that several reviewers did not comment or say anything about, about the application, implying they never looked at it. Um, the, my gosh, why would I have a different impression than that the fix was in? Yeah. Senator, I, I, uh, I, I accept your concern and disappointment. The, the part that I would particularly uh, say is almost certainly inaccurate is the part about the independent merit reviewers, reviewers because all 28 applications were, were forensically reviewed by... But by there are no public. comments or questions written by them. This is according to the state of Louisiana, which has reviewed this. Well, I mean, that... The questions of clarifications, uh, there was not a uniform setting of questions or clarifications to any, any of the 28. I mean, it, you know, not So, so far, I haven't really found a reason why the reviewer would find fault. 
The other thing that has been clear, although this was not part of the legislation that we passed, um, after, the, after uh, announcing the hub competition, the Department of Energy announced plans to use one billion of the hub money to run a centralized DOE plan, so-called demand side program to stimulate hydrogen demand. Now in the Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma application, which was unsuccessful, not clear why, because every reason we've been given so far does not seem valid, and we got several of the reviewers did not comment upon, um, the applicants had committed to taking 3,000 3, 3, metric tons of production of hydrogen a day, and demand would match this production by 2030. So that which DOE said they had to model and create was part of the application and was a fait accompli, if you will. Um, so again, when I look at why would this application not be selected, I can't help but notice that 11 of the 15 or 16 states are kind of represented by Democratic senators, including states that don't have a history of the sort of production of hydrogen and other components such as Louisiana does, that don't have an existing infrastructure such as we. Um, and yet somehow they managed to get a billion dollar project. Um, tell me why I should have faith in this process. I, I could go through the, uh, the process to show that, uh, you know, the, the independent mayor review, the federal panels, the selection officers are all career uh, civil servants, and they evaluated many, many criteria. You mentioned some of the criteria, that, which I think were to the advantage of the Louisiana hub. Also, because the bill, it was effectively an intra-regional competition, so the Gulf Coast had multiple very, very strong competitors. But there was only one that ended up getting it, and that was the one in Texas. And yet you look at other places without our ecosystem, without our, without our infrastructure, they did get it. That's why I'm kind of like, whoa, the place with all the infrastructure got one, and it's otherwise scattered around a lot of states, disproportionately represented by Democrats. And as Deion Sanders would say, Mr. Crane, look at me. Yeah, their career, but look at me. They don't answer I'm looking at you, Senator. Yeah. They, they, they don't answer to political leadership. Of course they do. Um, I'm, I'm very concerned about this. Let me ask in closing, because you've been indulgent, let me go in over. Uh, would, would the Department of Energy be willing to share completely the deliberative process and the documents thereof with my office so that we can review as part of my function of this oversight committee? We, w we would be happy to set up a meeting with your office to, to go through in, in, in considerable detail uh, the uh, selection process. Whether and to share with us those documents so we can make our own assessment as well? I would have to, uh, I would have to get back to you on that, Senator. Because Otherwise, I have to file a FOIA, which seems inappropriate for a congressional oversight committee. I, I thought that uh, FOIA, I thought there was commercially sensitive information. Is uh, I, I'm not an expert on FOIA, but, uh, but we are... I think we would be happy to work with your office to, to set up a more detailed briefing. And if we start there and if you're unsatisfied, we could take it from there. I appreciate Thank that. You. I yield. Thank, Thank you, you for your indulgence.